know what it is. Rich TV Live. Ill Kid. Cloud Ninja on the beat. Don't manage you looking at all the candles, it's a ride and we off the handles. It's the heat, cause we bringing all the kitchens out. Oven mitts for little kids, what you bitching about? Pockets when they tingling, money stay mingling. I'm just getting started, yeah, I'm trying to get the swing of things. Uh, you love the green, but you hate the red. It's like you love the sex, but you hate the head. There's no difference, I finish all of your dinners. That mean I'm taking your places, no mistake that you are beginners. You miss me, rinse and repeat, it's rich TV. You miss me, I'm the one, Jet Lee. Uh, it's time that we get popping now. I ain't never stopping now. You would think I'm floating in the open way. I pop a cloud. You should even shop around. You should buy a pair of boots. Hater, this my stomping ground. This is how the market goes. It's round and round we go. Where it stops, we just don't know. Don't panic. Don't panic. Why you stand up all your dough? Just sit back and watch the show. Pray that you just strike some gold. Don't panic. Yo, hey, market makers are heartbreakers and soft stages. Bring the heat with Kenny just like it's Las Vegas. You hard haters are all fakers. I mob like, don't call you on another song. I don't pause, baby. I don't panic. I just mix it up like Shaka Khan. You stay tripping on the sides like a soccer mom. And when it's on, I transform like a septicon. I can tell your whole future looking at the devil's palm. You too weak, bro. Cause you looking at a 52 week low. These are opportunities to seize, yo. No peace, though. I don't cheat. I just move when I cruise to the G code. Put the limit in. Stop it if you have to. This is mathematics for addicts to latch to. Rich TV live. He a swell guy. He'll teach you how to buy low when you sell high. Yeah, I get money because it's all sweet. You looking at the real wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, I get money because it's all sweet. Yeah, you looking at the real wolf of Wall Street. This is how the market goes. It's round and round we go. Where it stops, we just don't know. Don't panic, don't panic. Why you spend up all your dough? Just sit back and watch the show. Pray that you just strike some gold. Don't panic, don't panic. Something has to be done about this. Mr. Attorney, this is what I pay you for. What can I do? Litigation it is. Get the wheels in motion. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where in the world you're watching. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I want to talk to you about this fabulous Friday. Now, IGNG has been on a run from the ages, right? So our boy Sergio brings us IGNG at five cents. We start to talk about it. Let's talk about our week, right? So Sergio brings us IGNG at five cents. We start to talk about it. We're live. Literally, it starts to take off, right? While we're talking, it's like up 20%, 40%, 80%. And I'm like, what? And then we go offline and then like we're back in the group chat and the Telegram chat. And if you guys haven't joined the Telegram, like, yo, the Telegram is nuts, man. Our Telegram group is fire right now. It's like 449 members, messages by the second, everybody wanting picks, everybody wanting winners. Anyways, so... This thing goes from five cents all the way to what was it? Eleven cents that day. So everybody's going crazy. It's up a hundred percent. Great day. Everyone made a ton of money. And then the next day, it opens up at twenty cents. It's up a hundred percent the next morning. It opens up a hundred percent the next morning. Goes to like twenty cents. And I'm like, this is nuts. And then and then it goes up even higher, as high as 27 cents. And then I sell, I think around 23 cents yesterday. And then it came back. And then it and then it kind of went up and down a little bit. I bought a little bit more. I bought 45,000 shares again. And then right at the end of the day yesterday, it's holding around 21, 23 cents all day. I'm kind of up and down, thinking, oh, you know, let's see. And then at the end of the day yesterday, it does a sneak attack. It runs all the way to 40, uh, 34, 34, 9, almost 35 cents. So the stock goes from 5 cents to 35 cents in a period of two days after we talked about it on our show, right? So good, right? Awesome. So this morning, it, it was up pre-market, and then it just starts to go down, 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 down. Right before the market closed, market opened, it was going down. It went from like 40 cents 
to like 33 cents in a matter of like in the pre-market in a matter of like 15 minutes. So I always trust my eyes, right? And I'm up on this because I bought it at 22 cents and it's at 33 cents now. And I'm sitting here thinking, I was up seven grand. I'm up like six grand at the time. And I'm like, yeah, I'm taking it. So I sold. So I sold my IGNG at 33. And I made another six grand on it. And then it went down, uh, currently down. Like, I don't know, what do you guys see it at? 20 cents or some shit? So, you know, some guys are still holding and I can't tell you guys what to do. I really hope you guys all win. I hope it goes way higher. My advice for everyone is when you see profits, take the money and run. That's always my advice. However, if you want to be a long-term investor in something and your gut is telling me it's, it's, it's telling you it's going to go higher, then hold it. I totally understand that. I'm not that guy, you know. For me, like when I see profits, I just have to take them. I have to take them. So I didn't get caught up in this, you know, like down feeling. I didn't get caught up in this. I lost two cents. You know, it was at 35. I sold at 33. I sold right here. You know, like, I sold here. 33. Yeah, right here. So not at the very top, but pretty close. And that's just kind of the way I want to trade. I mean, you know, I, it's just the way I, like, I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I want to have good execution. I want to have good execution. And yes, you know, MedMan had some big news today that they got themselves $250 million. And I was sitting in MedMan, 2,375 shares. And I sold my MedMan this morning. And I made myself over $1,000 on MedMan. Thank you, MedMan, for my daily bread. Thank you, MedMan, for my daily bread. MedMan announces U.S. $250 million investment from Gotham Green Partners. Huge news. It popped and I sold my MedMan at around 455 today. So guys, I'm honestly like, I have no hesitation to sell, eh? The only reason why I trade is to win. So when I'm winning, it, to me, it's the rush of winning. It's not about how much I sell it for. I couldn't care less. I just want to win every single trade. I do not like to lose trades, okay? Kira is another monster for this morning. Kira, I mean, geez, Kira, seriously? Like, I have no choice. Kira's on a full alert! It's the gift that keeps on giving! Full alert! Taking it on the chin. Is it a buying opportunity? Gene is falling to an oblivion. Is it a buying opportunity? Will they be acquired? Wow. BLPG is up 23%. QCC is up 39%. Cura up 11%. Strong by, strong by, strong by, strong by, strong by, strong by. Take you to the future with ACB on top. In Africa, right next to that shit in the second slot. I'm like Jordan in this prime. Shooting with Pippin. Making money all the time. Fucking with some Mepin. Cush bottles ain't going nowhere. You know it's gaining hype. And if you ain't watching, you ain't winning. It's time to say goodnight. Zeno with the fever. That shit diva just with the heater. You could leave it with beaver. I don't fuck with the number. Make my 
my way up to Supreme. If you bet on this company, then you gon' make some cream. And so why I got lots of that. It's about to pop it fat. I ain't gotta stop the rabbit. Tell you that you copping that. Vivo, I got it in my speedo. With eyes closed, eating burritos. Or chomping on some Cheetos. Did you know? I'm like, yeah, you gotta buy that shit. It's the new strike on these haters in the midst of get you hit. Yeah, yeah. So Kira has just been like the gift that keeps on giving and it's because of their revenue. They are the number one revenue generating cannabis company in America. And they're not far behind Aurora in revenue. So they are number three right now in the entire world in revenue. So Cure Leaf is just ginormous and that's why they're going up. <laughs> So I am very scared of a trend reversal and a correction in the market. This is why I'm trying to stay in cash as much as possible. The only things I'm holding right now are anything that I believe is near a bottom. Otherwise, anything that's near a top like Cure Leaf is right now, I'm just day trading it. I'm, I'm momentum trading it. I'm just going in and out. I'm not going to hold it because if the market corrects itself and there's a massive 30% correction, like we've seen... 50 to 150 percent increase in price over the last two to three months in a lot of stocks in the cannabis sector. Okay, if we see a massive correction in the cannabis sector and everything goes down 30 to 50 percent, which we've seen before many times, then we'll be able to buy Curly for seven bucks. So I don't want to rush to buy it at 13. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, would I day trade it or momentum trade it? Hell yeah, but that's just like literally for like to hold it for a day because I'm petrified. By the fact that at any point in time, these stocks could crash. Now, I hope it doesn't happen. But man, I've seen it too. I, I've seen it happen way too many times to think it will never happen again. Right? So we have to protect ourselves. We have to protect our money. And when we see profits, we have to take them. It's just, I don't know. That's my opinion. That's how I trade. You're welcome to trade any way you like. I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your dil diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We do bring you the winners. We try to bring them to you first. Can't tell you guys what to do, but stocks will go up and then they will be followed with going down because there is gravity in the stock market. Now, listen to our predictions. I think Animus we were pretty much bang on. CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. I think we were just bang on with a lot of our predictions. Everything will go up and down. What goes up will come down, and what goes down will come up. We need to be smart and trust our eyes. IGNG is back to 27 and a half cents, guys. Look at this. It looks like it was creating a buying opportunity at 21 cents. So apparently it went down to 21 cents right here, and now it's back to 27 already. Is it going back? Is this just a sneak attack? Don't panic, we gotta manage the time is us And I don't care 
shit for the lefts and all the market makers. But I swear they nuts, I call them salty haters. Big Pharma trying to get in for a piece of it. Because they know the medication, we don't believe in it. I'm so happy it's over, all the prohibition. And now we're here, it's Rich TV, the coalition. There's no locking or stopping because we on a mission. Teach the people, they spreading lies, it's a contradiction. You want to make money, invest in the top cannabis stocks in Canada and in the United States that are revenue generating. Invest in the best because the best is blessed. This is your boy Rich. Let's open up scenarios. Wolf of Wall Street, and I ain't talking about the Caprios. The man predicted markets. He knew it was gonna explode. He knew it was making money, and he knew to crash your homes. Oh, yeah, these are the big boys. He also predicted the crash of bitcoins. That's a big short. Stop acting like a big dork. I'm gonna get this pie, no lie. I need a big fork. Ah. I know about their tactics. The short is making money off the people's back. It's horseshit. I'm telling you, take caution. Everything is so corporate. I'm trying to make enough money to give to all the poor kids. And that is what the herb is for. Helping people feed the poor. All we need is life. So stop thinking that all you need is more. And now we here, but our past, yeah, we can't forget. It's time to grow, and you know we getting out of debt. One day we gon' fly. We gon' make this money. We gon' live all lives. But we can all So, yesterday I brought you guys Belmont Resources. Today it's up another 12%, okay? Um, just trying to bring you guys winners. IGNG apparently started to come back up. People are winning on it. They hit the dip. And another company that's doing an RTO is Nextleaf Solutions. So, I sold this one today at 45 cents. I bought it yesterday at 32 and a half. Another RTO, reverse takeover, that was brought to me by Sergio. What a guy, Sergio. So, yeah, Sergio did a good job bringing these picks, and they have done well so far. But like anything, what goes up could come down. What goes down could come up. Another RTO that did an IPO just this week, two days ago, which I brought to you guys first, is Virio Health. And they're at $6.15. And after their RTO IPO, they open up at $5, and they're already up to $6.15. So... You know, we really have our thumb on the pulse, I believe, right now. Another stock that I want to bring to your attention. Another stock that I want to bring to your attention is MacArthur Minerals Limited. MMS in Canada, MMSDF in America. This company just signed an agreement for a 10-year iron ore Offtake agreement for the Lake Giles Iron Project in Australia with Glencore International for four billion dollars. It's nuts. Four billion dollar deal, four hundred million a year. It's a four billion ten year deal, and the stock has gone bonkers in America. It's up. It was up four hundred percent yesterday, forty one percent already today. And the crazy part is, in Canada, you can't trade it. It's halted. It's stuck at five cents. Like, come on, Canada. Seriously. What are you trying to do to us, man? See, in situations like this, I got mad FOMO. I want a piece of this company. I'm not going to lie. I want a piece of a company that's doing a $4 billion deal. It's true. I got some FOMO for MacArthur Minerals Limited. It's true. 
a four billion dollar deal and you're at 26 cents uh yeah i like that That boy is on fire. MacArthur Minerals. I like me some MacArthur Minerals. A four billion dollar deal. Who else brings you these deals, guys? This deal was brought to me by Joe. Joe, you are a sniper ninja. Hundred million dollars a year for a stock under a buck? I said pardon? I sold my oils. Took the money and rent. IGNG is starting to climb back up. IGNG may have just been a buying opportunity again. These guys are nuts and it's just climbing back up. So, you know, look at this. You guys see this? I'm going to show you something. It's pretty nuts. These indicators are pointing all up. The stochastics are pointing up. The Bollinger Bands are pointing right up. And the MACD is pointing right up. See how the red is over the line here? It's all buying pressure. See how the blue line is pointing straight up and the orange line is pointing straight up? That's all buying pressure. So IGNG is going for a run right now. If I wasn't live right now, I'd probably be buying it because <laughs> I didn't see this. I saw it pointing right down. Um, but hey, you know, I told myself I'm going to stay in cash. I'm just going to chill right now. And um, what's the U.S. symbol? MS, MMSDF. MMS in Canada. Agroflora, eh? Yeah, Agroflora looks like an interesting one for sure. Let's look at this one day. So this is how it's traded today. So it's been very interesting how it's traded today. Very, very interesting how it's traded today. So I sold at the top. It came back down. Clearly was a buying opportunity. And now it's coming back up. So we are definitely going to keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, I sold everything today, guys. Pretty much. Everything that was green, I sold it. No hesitation. So like a lot of times I kind of laugh when people are like, Rich, what are you going to do? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you, I'm like, what do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> yeah, I just always give people, what do you think I'm going to do? And then they're quiet. I'm like, come on, are you not watching? Like, I'm in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out guy. So you think I'm going to hold? Hell no. So, yeah, man, that's just what it is. It is what it is. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. 
So, hope you guys are winning. Hope you guys are watching. It's been a glorious two weeks of trading since I've been back. And yeah, man, make your money move on, man. I don't have to think about any of those stocks over the weekend. They all out of my account. And Monday, I got a fresh start with cash, bullets for a new week. It's perfect. But hey, everybody's different. I ain't telling you guys what to do. Agra up 7% AGRA. Wow. Cali at 9 cents up 5%. CVSI up 4%. CVSI. Very interested in that one. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button. Share the video everywhere. If you ain't winning, you ain't watching. This is your boy Rich. And I'm out. Ooh, IGNG, it's moving. Peace.